The owner of a Lexington coffee shop says enough is enough. Tonight we've learned the store is now making some changes after it was robbed for the fourth time. Police say a man went into the Common Grounds coffee shop on Heartland Parkway about 7.30 last night and took off with cash. And the store was also targeted back in August. Tonight, Hillary Thornton is talking to the owner about how the store plans to deal with this string of crimes. As usual, Common Grounds Heartland location is bustling with activity. However, today, customers learning their caffeine fix must be paid for through a card. People weren't able to work through it. You know, they didn't plan for it. So we let, you know, gave some people some free coffee and some free donuts this morning just to kind of ease the burden of what's going on. This comes after the locally owned business was the target of an armed robber for the fourth time, the third time just this year. No longer accepting cash, a last resort for the owner. But what they feel is necessary to protect their employees' lives and the safety of their customers. Detrimental as far as the business is concerned. This is um, it's hard. One for us to worry about our customers and our employees, and then two, um, you know that it's each time they take money from a local business. So that's money from us to be able to pay our bills, which you know is always a hardship. Feeling for McCreary and her employees, others running local businesses in the shopping center. Say the news is frightening and their employees will be operating with heightened alertness. We've always kind of really felt safe around here, but the world's getting crazier and crazier. So even places that you think are really safe, they're not getting to be anymore. Now, this is a business with many regular loyal customers who say they get to know the employees well and they say they too are upset that this has happened again. A lot of, a lot of traffic and it seemed like they could care less. And somebody could really get hurt. It's a small mom and pop coffee spot who would do that? You know, who would do that? And I'm, um, you know, kids come here. I bring my grandkids with me. So it's it's just a little scary. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. And the owner says she does not believe the same man is behind the robberies from this year. Police say the suspect is a thin black man in his 20s. Employees say that each time the thief wears a dark hood, sunglasses, and blue bandana over his face.